Oh, Boogie right. Man Ben coming round the band. This Boogie Man Ben. This Boogie Man Ben. Greetings, my fellow fiends, and thanks so much for dropping by the Horror Zone channel. I hope everyone's doing well. Um, today's video is going to be a quick ranking of the Expendables films. I just got out of seeing Expendables 4. There's my ticket right there. And as everybody probably knows by now that this movie is getting raked over the coals by critics. Um, they're predicting it's not going to do very well this weekend. And, you know, just being curious myself, I did watch some uh, YouTubers do reviews of the film. Um, pretty much they were either mixed to negative. I didn't really see a positive one. There are a few critics that are pretty top, like top tier critics that gave it uh, good rankings. I don't care what the critics say. I never have. None of the Expendables films, with maybe the exception of part two, have gotten very favorable reviews. Um, uh, the first uh, movie came out in 2010, followed by Expendables 2 in 2012, and then Expendables 3 came out in 2014. And I just went into this film hoping it was going to be fun. Um, and uh, I'm honestly going to say that I had a blast with Expendables 4. Now, that is my opinion. Um, I am not saying that it's going to blow people's minds, but for me, all I wanted was something that was going to bring me back to those characters, to the, that type of storytelling and uh, I really had a good time with it. I really don't get the negativity towards it. Um, you know, when I see some movies that get really high rankings and I watch them and I just don't get how the movies get the rankings that they do, I'm just sort of perplexed uh, by the negativity I'm seeing thrown at this film because if you look at all four films in the franchise, they all sort of have the same beats. And this one felt like a very natural continuation of those characters and the story of the Expendables uh, from the last film, which came out nine years ago. Um, I thought all the new characters worked. I'm not a huge fan of 50 Cent. Um, I thought he did okay. He didn't blow me away or anything like that, but uh, I did think he was he was cool in his in his role. But it was great to see, of course, you know the the four uh, returning characters, that being uh, Stallone. Who has a very has a much smaller role in the film, but I've seen some people say he has nothing more than a cameo. He's in the film more than a cameo. A cameo to me is the Rock showing up at the end of the last Fast and Furious. That's a cameo. Um, and thus he's 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 in it for for a, a chunk of time. Um, but this is more of a Statham vehicle. This is more about Lee Christmas, and that was the whole point of the movie. Was it was a handoff from Barney, who was kind of the central figure for the first three, and then the next one, if they. This might be the last one, but this one, and if they made more, was supposed to be Christmas. So it was supposed to be about Lee Christmas uh, taking the torch in the reign of the Expendables crew. Um, but yeah, it was great to see, uh, like I said, Stallone was great. I love Jason Statham, always have. There's nothing bad you can say about him. And uh, great to see um, Randy Couture as Toll Road. And, of course, one of my favorites uh, since the first film is uh, Dolph Lundgren as Gunner. I love that character so much. And to see those four back was great. Also, the inclusion of Megan Fox, who I've heard a lot of like insults hurled at. I'm not saying she's a fantastic actress, but some of these misogynistic um, sort of digs at her um, from some really well-known YouTube uh if you want to call them critics, I guess. Um, I thought they were kind of unwarranted. She did a good job in it. Um, she She's gorgeous to look at, but she's also, I think she can hold her own, and I think her and Statham had great chemistry in it, and she did a great job. Also, uh, Andy Garcia, fan of him. Also really like Jacob Scipio. I think that's how you say his name. He played in Bad Boys for Life. Um, he was great. He played uh, Galgo who was Antonio Banderas' character uh, in part three. He played his son in it, and I thought he did a good job because he's just as manic <laughs> as that character was, and I guess they couldn't get Banderas just with scheduling to come back for this. So I thought that was great. I think it originally was supposed to be written for him. But also Tony Jaw was great in it. I don't know if I'm saying his name right, but Tony Jaw was fantastic. I really liked his character and his interplay with Statham as well. And then the main adversary, Iko Uwais, I think that's how you say his name. I know he's in the Raid films, um, but he was great too. I just had fun it, like i said it was a fun movie uh the explosions are great i heard so many people saying the cgi was bad there's a couple of noticeable moments particularly towards the end of the film when they're on the ship but other than that it, it's like it really wasn't that bad people were making it seem like it was absolutely awful and i'm like yeah some of the dialogue is goofy but they've all been like that so again if you like the other expendables films you don't have to take my word for it but give it a chance um i really had fun with it uh, it was it was a lot more fun than I thought it was going to be because I just kept hearing all these these horrible things about it. But primarily, I heard them from people that didn't like the other films. Um, 
and I really don't get it. These movies are throwbacks. They're throwbacks for me. They're silly. They're gory. Uh, I thought the gore was amped up a lot in this. Even though some of it was CGI, it didn't bother me. I thought it was fun. Um, again, I had a great time. I had a great time. I love this franchise. Nothing has changed. Um, I think Part 4 was a, 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 a perfect uh, pickup. Um, would I have liked to see some of the other characters that aren't in it? Like, I think Dr. Death, the Wesley Snipes character, I would have loved to see him come back. Galgo, I would have loved to see him come back. Maggie Chen from Part 2, I would have loved to see him come back. But they didn't. But I was happy with um, the characters that were in this. And uh, just the, the whole mission in this one. I thought it was fun. It was different in some regards. Um, I thought that uh, Statham, of course, was fantastic as Lee Christmas, and he's pretty much the main character because, like I said, you know, Barney Ross is in this, but Stallone has said this is his last film in the franchise, and he took a little bit of a step back in terms of being the focal point. Now, to rank them, I just saw this one, um, but I am going to be honest about how I would rank them. Now, I love all four of them, so all four films are great, um, but if I have to be honest, um, if I rank them, like, fourth for me is going to be Expendables 3. And the reason why it's going to be Expendables 3 is because I feel like the middle part of this film suffers because of the fact that the core members of the group are kind of... Back, they take a back seat to these new recruits, which you have Glenn Powell, Ronda Rousey, um, you have uh, Kellen Lutz. Um, that part of the film has always been hard for me to get past. Um, I feel like the beginning of it is great, and then the end of it is great, but that middle part just... The, the, these films were meant to be older, old school, you know, badass action heroes, and you introduce characters like Wesley Snipes, Dr. Death, and then you have him sort of relegated to like a you know secondary character for most of the film and he's hardly in it and you're like going why would you do that i never got why they did it this way and i think they were trying to get to a broader audience with this film um i still had a lot of fun with it but that middle part of it i just don't like the fact that the the main characters the ones that we've come to love from the first two films are relegated to like you know they're, they're not in it they're not in it it's, you have these these four new expendables that Barney is with and it just doesn't feel the same but yeah I have fun with this film still I would put the third at number the number four position and for number three is going to be the new Expendables film Expendables 4 like I said I had a great time with it um I wish Barney Ross could have been a bigger part of it but I understand Stallone wanting to sort of take a back seat and you know let Statham kind of drive this franchise now if it if they do make another one which who knows at this point um but with a nine-year gap I was worried what this film was going to be like and it was fun. I had a great time with it, and I was going to go see this no matter what, and I'm glad I did. I'm glad I didn't listen to some of these critics that are just ripping it apart. The same people that get, like, free screeners to go see it, uh, press screenings, things like that. So that's cool. Um, but, yeah, I'm glad I went and saw it. I had a blast. Uh, it's fantastic. It was fun. I had so much fun seeing it. Probably one of the most fun times I've had in the movie theater. Um, the second, uh, my second favorite Expendables film is going to be the original. Um, this is just a, a terrific film. Of course, this one is more, you know, you got the older school, you know, action heroes here, and that's what Stallone's whole point of view was with this one. But I think this is, this is a really personal story. There's some really hard hitting moments in this, and I think in this one, you know, it was taken more seriously than the other films in the franchise. There's a, a lot of real uh, serious uh, moments in this, and uh, I think that it's all balanced out well. I think Stallone did a fantastic job directing, and I love everybody in the cast. Um, it was such an amazing film to see uh, opening weekend back in 2010. I had followed it for a couple of years when they were making it, and um, still a great film, still have a lot of fun with it, and I think, like I said, this one is a little bit more on the drama side than the other films in the franchise, but uh, yeah, it's a blast to watch and I still enjoy it. And number one for me is still gonna be Expendables 2. I don't know what it is about this film. I remember going to see this one with my neighbor. In fact, I saw uh, two and three with my former neighbor that used to live next door. Um, but I remember going to see this and just, I had such a great time. This film just kicks off amazingly. Um, 
and I just love the camaraderie in this one. I love that we got more Schwarzenegger and Bruce Willis in this one. Um, you know, them fighting it out with uh, Barney and his crew. And then you have Van Damme as the main villain, who's terrific. Villan, <laughs> I thought he was terrific. And serious moments in this one, of course, dealing with uh, the character of Billy the Kid and what happens to him. Um, but for the most part, this one was just played for fun. And I just felt like it had, out of all of them, the best balance of that 80s nostalgia that you're going for. I grew up in the 80s. I grew up with these action heroes and they're gods to me still. You know, it's like Stallone is, I've been a fan of Stallone since I can remember. And uh, I know my grandfather, my grandfather Henry would love these films. And uh, I think that's what I just, when I saw this one, I was like, this is a film that my grandfather would, would have loved. And, uh, he would love all of these films and he's the reason I love Stallone so much and uh, yeah I just had a blast with this one and it's remained my number one I just think it kicks off amazingly I love the action in it um, I just love the humor in it I think it works the best out of all of them and uh, yeah it's still my favorite in the franchise and um, I never get tired of watching it and like I said I love all four films The Expendables is my franchise it's the franchise i feel like it's made for my generation um i don't think newer generations when i see like a lot of these um you know youtube critics that are probably 19 or 18 reviewing films like you know expendables and rambo and some of these films that i grew up with that are from my generation and i can tell that they just don't have the same love for them that i, I just do. feel like well you know this is these are from my generation you don't understand because you didn't grow up with these guys and that's fine if you don't like the films i you know, I could care less. You know, there's movies that come out now like Megan and Cocaine Bear and some of these other ones that have come out this year that people loved and I did not like at all. So everybody's got their own taste, but I think, you know, these films and these actors are special to me. I don't care how old they are. Um, they mean a lot to me. It's like, I just don't care what people say anymore. I love all of the Expendables films. I love part four and I'm so glad I saw it. And I'm curious if anybody else is a fan of the Expendables franchise. Like I said, I've done, tried to do a little tribute to the, the new movie coming out. It was a big deal for me. And uh, I don't think people really gave a shit. So like I said, this is gonna be my last Expendables video, um, but I'm glad I saw the film. I enjoyed it. I would put it, you know, it's, it's up there for me. It's like, it's really close to part one. I mean, but it beats part three for me. Um, I had a lot of fun with it. Um, I hope other people will give it a chance. So thanks everyone for watching my Expendables videos this week. I know there's only been a few of you, but it really means a lot that people gave it a chance and uh, stay tuned for some more stuff that I have coming up very, very soon. So take it easy, stay scared as always. Peace. Hello, Fright Fiends. Just want to say thank you again for supporting Boogeyman Ben's Horror Zone. If you're brand new to the channel and you haven't yet subscribed, please hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the bell notification so you're updated every time I drop a new video. I typically do this once or twice a week with new content. I've uh, been doing this for over 11 years and the horror genre is a passion of mine. And it really means a lot to me that I can share that passion with all of you guys. Thanks so much again for the support and I'll talk to you again later. Take it easy. Stay scared as always.